All right, everybody, a bunch of new information just came out about the pro Jared situation with Heidi and Holly, and it is a hot mess. And frankly, their relationship is none of our damn business. But it's a lot like walking in on your parents having sex. You saw it, you can't unsee it. Now we need to sit down and have a serious discussion about what you just witnessed. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community and pop culture in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. Because what good is watching all of this stuff go on if we're not trying to take from it and see what we can apply to our own lives. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So real quick, before I jump into this story and my thoughts and opinions on it, I do want to know, I want you to know for full transparency sake, I did private my first two videos about this situation. The reason being is that a bunch of new information just came out. There was a bunch of accusations against Jared. Um, my first video was talking about those allegations. It was talking about him being a cheater. And because of the new information coming out, my opinion has changed. The second video I took down was about Heidi being a survivor of abuse, getting therapy, and all of that. Now, I am very glad that Heidi's in therapy, and I'm gonna talk more about that in a second, but I took those videos down, and you're gonna understand why as soon as I jump into this. All right, so Holly just came back on Twitter, and she shared her side of the situation, and I cannot tell you. I feel I feel awful for Jared, I feel awful for Heidi, I feel awful, awful for Holly. This was just all a messy situation, and I keep trying to tell you guys, everybody who's like, I want to be a celebrity, and I want to be a YouTuber, I want to be a streamer, like, just imagine thousands, if not millions of people witnessing what's happening right now. Like, it is a hot mess for everybody. But anyways, Holly came out, and she shared her side of the story. She recently got out of the hospital. She talked about how when the situation first popped off, she started to have a lot of thoughts of self-harm. She talks about this on Twitter, and I do appreciate um, that she talks about like, don't be embarrassed about this. If you need help, go get help, all right? Like as a mental health advocate, as somebody who has struggled with my own mental health issues, as somebody who's trying to get all of you to get therapy or 12 step meetings or whatever it is that's gonna help you, like do it. So kudos to Holly for talking about that. But anyways, Holly felt the need to clear her name. In the same way that James Charles did, like it's crazy that these were the two biggest stories that just happened in the last couple weeks and the script has completely changed. And I understand like a bunch of fellow people in the commentary community like, wow, like it's difficult because you want to cover this stuff, but then more information comes out. But anyways, the most we can do is update all of you and correct some information. But anyways, I am not going to read all of everything that happened. Like, go check it out. Um, I will link these um, these tweets down below, the whole threads and everything. But to kind of summarize it, Holly came out and explained the whole situation. She still stands by that Heidi was abusive to Jared and Holly was trying to help Jared. Now, Holly showed a bunch of screenshots between Heidi and Jared. The screenshots that Heidi and Jared, like those, like, those really worried me. Like, it painted Heidi in a much different light than the original story that came out, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Heidi wasn't a victim. Like, I'll get back to this, but I think it was a mutually abusive relationship on an emotional level. But anyways, Heidi was threatening Jared and all these things, kind of like what Jared originally stated, and now we have evidence of this, but she was talking about taking pleasure in destroying like Jared's livelihood, all right? And that's troublesome, okay? And that's kind of the key takeaway I want you to take from this. But what it appears was, what I mentioned in my last video, that this was a polyamorous thing that the rules changed on, and that's when ugh, things get a little bit messy. Like I mentioned in my last video, like, quit trying to cling onto relationships that just are not working, okay? But Holly, I feel immensely bad for because she was slut shamed to high hell. Everybody was just freaking out on her and like, it sucks. And that's the brutal thing about this whole cancel culture and mob mentality and everything about it. Like, like Holly is definitely a victim in this situation. Now, Jared, from what it looks like, Jared and Heidi were trying to save their marriage 
and they experimented with polyamory, okay? From what Holly said, the allegations against Jared with underage fans are untrue, and I believe they're they're seeking like legal help for that and all of that stuff, okay? But those are very serious allegations. That's why I've never played into that because like like when that was happening to James Charles as well, like we have to be very, very careful about those types of allegations. But from what Holly says and what Jared says, like consenting adults swapping nude photos, that's cool. Now, something that Holly mentioned is taking nudes that somebody sent you in a consensual form and then publicly posting those, that is something called revenge porn, which is illegal in, I believe, 48 states, all right? So don't do that. Like, if any of you remember that website, Is Anyone Up? That was a hot mess. It destroyed a lot of lives. Don't do revenge porn. That's a dick move, okay? So anyways, once Heidi caught wind that Holly came out with all of this stuff, Heidi immediately started defending herself and everything like that which is normal. And in my opinion, in my personal opinion, Heidi really missed the key points of what happened, okay? So she also shows a bunch of screenshots of Holly apologizing to Heidi and villainizing Heidi, okay? And I think, in my opinion, the main thing to look at in this situation was that Heidi wasn't a thousand percent the victim. Okay, as we original thought. And that's what I think I took away from Holly's series of tweets. Like, this was just a messy relationship that all of us have witnessed now, okay? So, this is my opinion. I'm not a detective, but based on what I've seen happen, as well as my personal um, experience with a bunch of messy relationships and putting all these pieces together, let me paint what I think the timeline was. All right, bear with me. Heidi and Jared were having a difficult marriage and a difficult relationship. They started toying around with the idea of polyamory, okay? And polyamorous relationships, they can both kind of hook up with whoever they want or open relationship, whatever you want to call it, all right? I know there's differences, so don't quote me on that. I don't want people freaking out on me, but you get what I'm saying, okay? so. Heidi and Jared start talking to other people. Apparently Heidi was in a long distance relationship with somebody that was long term, all right? Now, from what it looks like, Heidi was okay with Jared exploring his feelings with Holly, and that's when things got messy, all right? It seems like halfway through this, Heidi got very upset and changed the rules on Jared, okay? Now, from the screenshots, it looks like Heidi exploded on Holly, and in Holly's situation, she, her immediate reaction was, oh my God, I did something wrong. Jared lied to me. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's what it looks like, okay? But based on the screenshots that Jared sent to Holly, it looks like after Holly apologized to Heidi, it looks like Jared said, nah, Holly, here's what's really going on. And then Holly was like, oh my God. You're in an abusive relationship. And then she stuck around with Jared. That's what I think happened, okay? So I don't think there is a, like anybody in this situation is just a purely awful person. What it sounds like to me was that this was a bad marriage and we all witnessed all of the messiness that went along with it and this divorce, okay? It's just messy and it sucks that it was put out there publicly, all right? So my final thoughts are this. I am glad that Holly got help. Okay, um, it sucks that she was put on blast the way she was without her side of the story fully being out there. That absolutely sucks. But this is one of the things where, I, I don't know, I hate to say it because none of us deserve this, but when we go into the public spotlight, like we all have to know that there's a chance of something like this happening. So I am really glad that Holly got help and now she is speaking her side of the story. Jared, I'm glad that he's getting help now, and I hope this whole thing ends soon and like they have lawyers and mediators involved. That's what I'm hoping for, and I hope this all chills out. And you guys, like, I really hope that Jared gets his subscribers back and gets his supporters back. Like, I feel a duty as doing commentary and covering stories on YouTube to update this information because it sucks. It sucks when somebody's livelihood is at stake because of false narratives and mob mentality and cancel culture, all just kind of coming together to almost like ruin a guy's entire life. So hopefully Jared like recoups 
some of his subscribers and he can continue doing what he loves to do with gaming and D&D and all of that stuff, all right? Now, Heidi in this situation. Like, a lot of people are trying to demonize Heidi, but I, I seriously feel for her, okay? Heidi has been very vocal about getting into therapy and being in therapy, so hopefully she continues to pursue that and, and explore these things that are going on. Because, just from my personal opinion, looking at those screenshots of the messages between Heidi and Jared, it seems like Heidi was just very insecure about the relationship and she would freak out if Jared didn't respond. I'm not sure if they were apart at that time or like in different parts of the country, like both traveling or whatever, but she seemed really, really scared. And that is something that I think a lot of us can relate to where we freak out on somebody because of our own insecurities or maybe our own abandonment issues. So I'm glad that Heidi is still working on herself and going to therapy. And hopefully this is a learning experience for everybody. Like you guys, like every relationship that we've been in, just try to look at it. Like don't look at any relationship you've ever been in. This is from my experience. Don't look at any past relationship as this waste of time. I wasted my time with this person. I always hear people after a breakup, oh my God, I can't believe I wasted time or wasted this on you. Every relationship you, get out of, you learn something, okay? You learn something for the next relationship. Maybe it's what kind of partner you should pick. Maybe it's how to handle arguments or issues within that relationship. Like what worked and what didn't work in the last relationship. You see what I mean? There's so much to learn from. Like if it wasn't for all the awful relationships that I had been in, then I wouldn't have been able to find the most amazing relationship of my life with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, who gets to listen to me record videos, all right? But anyways, those are my thoughts on this situation. Again, it sucks that this was all put out there in public, but I feel like we need to discuss it because there's so many people just picking sides, taking sides, who's lying, who's this, who's that. And just as somebody who's witnessed and been in a bunch of messy relationships, these are my thoughts. I would love to hear yours down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here on this channel, get your name up in the credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A and all that good stuff, click or tap right there. All right. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.